Well, we always look forward to the pole vault convention because it you know, allows some of the best athletes in the country to come in and compete and allows the local athletes, some of the people from this part of the country, to be able to, to see them compete and also be able to compete themselves. And so it's a, it's a great opportunity for, the, uh, uh, for those kids to, to really learn from these athletes and to be able to uh, and also get a chance to get exposed to some, some great balding. And it's also good for the school uh, in terms of being able to uh, showcase uh, the excellence of these people. And most of these people we have coming are uh, especially elite athletes. They're, you know, this year's uh, the Olympic year 2020, and they, they want to find a way to make that Olympic team. Well, I we always have to remind everyone Akron. The word Akron means the highest or highest point. So, you know, here we are, of course, uh, you know, it's not just a um, coincidence. We're a, a, a good pole vault school. Um, but that name tells it. Also, you know, highest means we're the best, and that's what we want to we want to try and uh, uh, reach those type of levels, uh, not only in the pole vault but in all our events. Um, and so we're always seeking to make uh, every one of our events the best they can possibly be. Right now, we're fortunate we have some great pole vaulters. We have some individuals uh, from uh, you know world champion Sean Barber was here to Matt Ludwig, who is a uh, a national champion. Um, so. We've had some, you know, of course, we've got Annika Roloff. She won't be here, but she was a national champion for us. And we've had several, several All-Americans. And so we like to think of ourselves as being pole vault heaven here, the, the place where you go to pole vault high and do well, um, both as a, an athlete and also as a competitor. Well, this weekend, we're going to put a couple, uh, a few of our athletes up in the, in the elite group. We'll have uh, Lucy Bryant, of course, several time All-Americans. Uh, she's always knocking on the door of seeing if she can get that national championship. And, of course, she's trying to qualify for the Olympics for, uh, for Great Britain. She's, you know, she's been in some uh, junior and uh, some European championships, things at that level. So she's pushing toward that. And she's coming into the nation right now, fourth, ranked fourth in nation coming in this year with her, her marks from last year. And then we have uh, Matt Keim will be competing. He went to the NCAA championships last year. Um, you know, he'll, he'll get up with the big boys here a little bit and see how he does as well. We'll have pretty high starting height, but we think he should do well. He's already competed at a high national level. And then we also have a uh, competing on attached because he only has an outdoor left will be Cole Weigel in the uh, elite group uh, competing. But then off in the other groups, we have uh, our freshman, uh, Sebastian Martin out of uh, San Diego, Chile. And uh, we're going to have um, uh, Ray Kovlicek, and we'll um, and and we'll also have um, uh, Tyler Fraker will be jumping as well in, in the other part. Of the, and then our decathletes will be competing. Uh, then also in the elite section, uh, we've also moved her up there. Is um, uh, we have Ab Abby uh, Helmanak also she'll be competing there as well. So she'll, she'll get a chance to compete in the, that part. And then we have a new freshman, uh, Rachel Ward, which will be in the other division, but her division is going to be pretty tough. There's some very good athletes in that group as well uh, around that level. So but right now it's, it's, it's shaping up to be a good competition all the way around with the, uh, the athletes we have, especially a lot of local athletes coming in there. You know, they, they should do, do well.